buried deep in the Biden administration's proposed budget, you'll find some new politically correct language. Since it's now offensive to identify someone as a mother, that term has been replaced with birthing people in the section about maternal mortality. But the administration wasn't very consistent. They go right back to using the word mother <gasps> when discussing paid leave. So which is it? Joining me now with all the answers, Rachel Campos Duffy, Fox and Friends <laughs> weekend co-host. Congratulations on that designation, Rachel. And Christy Gall, uh, radio host and host. He's a multiple host, host of the Christy Gall Show <laughs> podcast, a man of many talents. Uh, and a great show, Chris. I love uh, going on it, and uh, you're uh, a, a, a expert on most things. And I want to start, uh, I'll be coming to you in Thank a minute. You, uh, uh, Rachel, you know, we saw this uh, changing of the word of mother in a way, an erasing of femaleness. Um, yeah. a, a few months ago, I, I think it was on the Senate floor, it was in Congress, when this was brought up. And everybody, once again, everybody thought it was a joke and it was too crazy to even, it's like, why? Why would we be doing that? But then we naturally then see it. it you know, that's just the start. Then that's just to prepare people to start seeing it. Um, uh, we, we know what this is about. It is about the uh, transsexuals, uh, which is fine. You're an adult. You want to make a change. But it's it's fascinating that they feel the need to erase women, the concept entirely. Uh, tell us what you think about that. Well, there. First of all, that was Representative Cori Bush. You're right. She was on on the con congressional floor, and and she's the one who first introduced this term. And there was some some pushback. Uh, and now we're seeing exactly what you said that it's growing, and this was just a preparation. Look, there are some very powerful forces that are hell bent on erasing our gender. And in order to win this battle, Tammy, um, pre-woke feminists, you know plenty of them, are going to have to do something very um, uncomfortable. They are going to have to join forces with people that they generally don't like, um, conservative pro-life women and men, evangelicals, um, and they're going to have to join forces to fight this. Because make no mistake, this is exactly what they want to do. They want to erase our gender. They want to uh, erase um, our femininity, our, our purpose and our identity as, as procreators uh, as, in, in the creation process, in the birthing process. And so I think that we really need to have some very interesting bedfellows. And it's going to be hard for the left because the champions in this battle are not the usual people they like, the Planned Parenthood or the National Organization of Women. It is Ron DeSantis. It is Donald Trump. It is your local GOP well, chapter. You know what? I would local argue. evangelical leaders. Yeah, I, I would say, though, that they don't even need to think about joining up with anybody. They can just be honest. Uh, we are always told by the left to trust science. No one is saying that we're not liking the transsexuals. I mean, that's absurd. Of course not. Uh, Americans are a, a generous uh, a people and you live and let live. But this is not even what the transsexuals that I know, it's like, we haven't been talking about this. This is not what we want. We haven't cared about bathrooms. We don't care about this. It is another way to divide. And and liberals and Democrats need to be honest about what's going on here, that this is also not what they voted for, not what they stand for. This is completely right. contrived, and it, it's unacceptable. Um, and, and we can go to, to this similar situation, Chris. Uh, while that is, of course, bizarre in and of itself, and nobody wants it, uh, we, let's deal with critical race theory, because you've got an interesting situation personally. We know that children are now being pit pitted against other children. They want children to see race first with critical race theory in, in, in kids' schools. Uh, tell everyone what you've uh, decided to do about that particular situation. I have three kids. Two of them, Tammy, are in high school, uh, midway through high school. One is in sixth grade, and our youngest, our daughter, in sixth grade, we decided to remove her from school over critical race theory. Uh, we simply cannot abide in our home that our children would be indoctrinated with notions that we have always taught against, and that is viewing people through their skin color or their gender or their sexuality first. We don't stand for that. That's not what we believe in. And yet, in every school district, like mine, uh, the one that we chose, by the way, we moved to a suburb specifically for this district, but they've installed mm -hmm. one of these six-figure uh, race-baiting diversity people to inject racism in every single curriculum. And we said, no, we're, we're simply not going to have it. So we've, we, we're going to remove my youngest daughter, and uh, we're going to start a new, uh, a new in a, uh, a private Christian school this fall. And, and that I admire that a great deal. I know know, uh, uh, Rachel, you care about the, your kids' education. It's an important yeah. dynamic. But it is a luxury, I have to say. What we are fighting for 
are for everybody who is like not in the middle class, maybe struggling financially, reliant on public schools, that we, we can't abandon them. And this fight is, is for everybody. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward, I think, to the fact that this kind of conversation, this is about all kids. It, and in fact, it's not about denigrating anybody. This is the fight against no. denigration, actually embracing everyone. So you, both of yeah. you do a great job personally and in your work. And uh, thank you very much, Rachel Campos Duffy, of course, you'll see her on the weekends and everywhere else here on Fox and Chris Dickall, uh, uh, all over on radio, Philadelphia and his podcast. Thanks to both of you for coming on tonight.